everyone, welcome to Origami with Miss Amy. Today we're going to be learning how to fold an origami inflatable Pikachu. If you saw my last video on the paper lantern slash water bomb, these instructions are very similar, just a few changes from the previous instructions. If you didn't see that video, I'll be going through everything um, step by step in this one as well. So we're going to make the Pikachu. Pika, pika. And then we can also make a Pichu just by doing the same steps with a smaller piece of paper. So here we go! The materials you'll need are some paper. You can use yellow construction paper if you have any, that's what I'll be using today. And if you don't have that, you can use computer paper or notebook paper and just take a yellow marker, colored pencil, highlighter, crayon, whatever you have on hand. Then you'll also need a pair of scissors. You'll need a black marker and a red marker to draw Pikachu's face. And then of course the yellow uh, marker or whatever other type of thing you have to color the white paper if that's all you have on hand. And then you'll also need some tape or some glue. Okay, let's get started folding our origami inflatable Pikachu. What we're gonna need to do first is make our paper into a perfect square. Um, if you already have origami paper, it's in the correct shape, but if you're using any other kind of paper, 8.5 by 11 or 9 by 12 as like construction paper, you're going to need to take the top corner and fold it down, lining it up with the edge as neatly as you can to where it forms a point at the top. And then once you have it lined up where you want it, then you're going to make your crease. And then once you've made that crease, we're going to remove this portion over here at the side with some scissors. All right, so we have one diagonal already. We're going to make the other one the other direction here. So just fold it up to the corner and line up the edges and make a crease. And then we're going to unfold it and make sure that we're folding the opposite direction. So we did the diagonal this way. We're going to do our half folds this way. So just line up those edges together. Sometimes it helps to hold it up and line them up that way. And then you can lay it flat and make your crease. And then we need to make a half fold going the other direction. So just turn it and then do another half fold, lining up the edges and making a crease. And then unfold your paper and just push the corner up to where your diagonal folds are going this direction. And then we're going to kind of fold those corners together in the front and then these back corners together to where it lays as a triangle. And next we're going to take the bottom corners down here and fold them up to the top. So just fold that corner up, lining that edge with the center. Do the other side, fold it up and line it up with the center and make your crease. And then you're just going to flip it over and do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, here's where the steps are going to start being a little bit different. We're going to make Pikachu's ears next, and we'll do that by just coloring in a couple of the corners with a black marker. So we're just going to open up uh, one section here, the two flaps on this side, and we're just going to lay it over top another piece of paper just so we don't get marker on our workspace. And just take your black marker and draw a line up toward the corner just like this. And then once you have drawn your line, you can just color everything past it, flip it over, do the same thing, and then on the other corner, do the same thing on both sides again. Now once you've colored in both ear tips, we're going to work on the face next. You can wait till the end and draw the face after you've inflated the Pikachu, but it's a little bit easier to draw it on a flat uh, surface. So what we're going to do is just unfold everything, uh, turn it over to where the main part of your ear tips are at the top, and then we're going to be drawing the face right in this middle section right here. Okay, take your black marker or pen. And we're going to draw Pikachu's eyes first, so just draw a little circle on this diagonal line here. Usually you want to start small, you can always make it a little bit bigger if you need to. Do another one here on the other side. And if you look at it and they seem kind of uneven or need to be a little bigger, just add some more on the outsides. And then we're going to draw Pikachu's nose, which will just be a triangle in the very center where all the lines intersect just like this. And then for his mouth, we're going to draw two small curved lines, just like this. 
And if you want Pikachu to have an open mouth, you can add a little section like this on there. And now we're going to take our red marker or pen and draw Pikachu's cheeks. So you just do a circle on this side and then another circle on this side. And I also like to color in his mouth with the red as well. And there you have Pikachu's cute little face. And then next what we're going to do is fold him back up how we had him before. Now when you do this, you're going to want to make sure that you get the ear tips on the same side so that they're like this when your triangles open you have one on the side and they're both where you can see them you don't want to have it where you have a triangle and you have one tip on one side and not on the other because then when you fold it up um, his face is going to be in the wrong direction now just fold them back up just how we had them before <music> Right, then once you have it folded back into the square we're going to fold these corners in toward the center and make a crease so there's one and then do the one on the other side just fold it in touching the center and then make a crease and then what we're going to be doing is tucking these tabs into the pocket that um, the one section forms so you'll fold this down first lining it up with this edge and once you have it lined up make a crease here at the top and then do the same thing with this tab, just fold it down, lining it up with that edge, and then make a crease. And then we're going to be taking these tabs and folding them into the little pockets that this section forms. So you can just kind of fold it in there and, and then kind of tuck it in, and you can press on it to make it crease a little better. And then come over here on this side, open that pocket up, and then take your tab and just fold it in there. And then once you have it in, you can kind of push it down and reinforce that crease a little bit. And then we're going to flip them over and then fold those corners in as well. And then here's where it's a little bit different. Instead of actually tucking these tabs in, these are his ears, we want them to stick up. So we're just going to fold them down like this and make a nice crease. Fold the other one down and make a nice crease there. You want them to uh, kind of stick up at the end, so that's why you want to make a firm crease right there. And then what we're going to do is blow him up just like we did with the uh, water bomb or the paper lantern. But these little sections here kind of stick out, so you want to hold them down a little bit while you inflate. So you're just going to blow some air into that hole. So I'm going to come around and just quickly blow some air in to inflate our little Pikachu. And there he is. So just uh, you can kind of see it. I didn't hold on very well, so it kind of popped up. But you can just kind of push it back down, just fold it in there. And then you'll notice these flaps are kind of sticking up. I usually like to tape those down. So just get you some tape if you have it or glue. It would work fine as well. You just have to hold it down to dry. But we're just going to take a little piece of tape and then uh, place it on the corner of one of the flaps here. And I do um, both flaps separately just because it's hard to get them both to stay down with one piece of tape, especially with construction paper. Just kind of reinforce it here. It doesn't stick to construction paper very well. And then we'll um, take another piece of tape for the other flap on this side. And we will tape that one down as well. So just get your tape and then place it on the edge here. Fold it down flat and just kind of reinforce that with your finger so it sticks a little bit better. And then we're going to reinflate him since he got kind of squished. And once we do that, we can kind of fix his ears, fold them back a little bit, and fix his face up a little bit here so it doesn't look smushed. And there's our Pikachu. Pika, Pika. Thank you for watching today's origami tutorial. If you want to make the Pichu version of that project, you're just going to do the same exact thing but using a smaller yellow piece of paper. And if there are any other origami projects you'd like to learn how to fold, just add a comment below to let us know. And remember you can go to library.nashville.org and place holds on any other origami books we have in the system and use our curbside pickup service to pick them up. Have a great day and happy folding!